All right, welcome to Notion Workspace again. So we're gonna keep going from where we left off last time. Basically, I created the SOPs database and had a few of these SOPs created, fake SOPs. But as we go on, we'll keep adding new ones and we'll make real ones. Just need to create the skeleton for now. So now that we've created the projects database, which looks like this, we've linked it to the clients database, looks like this, and the tasks database, which looks like this. All right, we've linked all of them together in the previous videos. Now what I wanna do is add a template to the clients database. So I'm gonna take a template that I've already created before, take it from here, and you guys can access this in the description, so that way you can have it. I have to create it from scratch. So within the database here, what you wanna do is add a new template. So we click on the plus button right here. Now let me just add this. Okay, and so once we have this, we can now add the template right here. Okay, now this is a discovery call. So every time you have a new client, then you just create a new discovery call. So let's say we have a new client right here. Well, let's delete this one and create a new one. So we're gonna call this guy Max. And so Max is a potential client. We haven't done anything with him yet. And now we're gonna add this. Actually, we didn't edit the name. So let's edit the name real quick. This is called discovery call. Now, when we click on this template, we'll have a ready-made table full of questions to ask the potential client. So we click on this template button, it creates the list. If you wanna create another one, in case you have another discovery call with someone else, then you can always click it here. But basically, anytime you have a new client, you can always use this template, you see? There we go. All right, let's go back to Max and show you the template. So the template here, basically, every time you have a question, then you answer it here. Well, the client answers it here, or they'll use the multiple choice here, which is a yes, no, or don't know. So for example, today's date, obviously they can answer that. And then everything here, they can answer that. But when there's an arrow here, that means they need to answer with a yes or no. So is the SSL active? Yes. Are there any URL redirects that we need to know about? No. And so on. So they can answer here like this, don't know. And then they can either fill this up by themselves or they can fill it up with you on a call. I suggest you have it on a call. It's better. So you you fill it up yourself while they're, they're telling you the answers. And that way it's quicker. And if they have any questions, they can, they can ask you. If they don't, then you can just have them write a, a comment right here. And also you can see that all these questions are very beginner questions. So what I mean by beginner questions, I mean questions that you ask in the beginning of a client's phase life cycle. Because obviously when you're working with someone as a new prospect, you need to make sure that you have every basic information. And if you have all that right here, then that's perfect. And what I usually do after that is create a, a table for a list for their login. So login credentials, and then I just write them here. So that's that. Let's leave it here for you guys. We'll email and here password. Okay, now we can even change this into a, we're gonna add this here, certain color, like this. Okay, and now for example here, you can have Ahrefs. Well, they wouldn't have Ahrefs, obviously. <laughs> so let's say they have Shopify. And here they have, for example, uh, Gmail. Okay, now let's go back to the client's database. Now, every time you wanna have a new template, you can either create it from here or edit it from here as well. And another thing I like to do so that I recognize them easily is always add a little icon here. I always put a little icon that'll tell me what it is. That way it's easy to find. As you can see now, if I open this, I have this little phone here that you can click. Okay, that's it for this video. Next video, I'll be showing you how to add a template in the projects database, which is a pricing table, which shows you basically how you can create a pricing list for a client. So when you have a new client, then you'll have that discovery call template. And then when you actually start proposing to them with uh, with prices, then you'll need a table that shows different things. And well, I'll have that template ready in the projects database for you. Hope you guys like this video. Let me know in the comments if you want more videos like this. After I'm done with this series, if I don't get any comments or, or anything showing that people actually like it, then I'll just go back to doing other videos like you know, on digital marketing and SEO, but I won't do uh, any Notion videos. It depends on what you guys like, obviously. I like doing Notion videos, but if there's no views, then there's no point for me. All right, yeah, take care, guys.